Hi, welcome to density based spatial clustering for applications with noise. This is simply called DB scan, which is one of the unsupervised machine learning algorithms. The DB scan is used to find high density based samples that samples are having similar pattern to extend the number of clusters for given data set. For example, uh, this data set is having high density samples, more number of samples with large data set. So in this large data set, the samples may have similar patterns that based upon the similar patterns, we can extend the number of clusters like this. So here we are having uh, uh, cluster one, cluster two, cluster three, cluster four, cluster five. But initially the data set is having uh, more uh, uh, samples here the cluster one or uh, two here three here which is uh, four uh, and here the different uh, different kind of uh, patterns are learned based upon the given samples. So based upon the uh, patterns the number of data point will be uh, uh, will be clustered into number of clusters. Here the DB scan is used to find the complex patterns which are available in randomly shaped and randomly a number of samples will be available in different clusters. Here the single cluster it is having some for example 100 uh, data points this may have uh, 250 samples so here this can have uh, uh, 500 samples so the number of samples will be different the size will be different and also shape of the each cluster is different you see uh, this is the different shape and this one is a different shape here this cluster is a different shape so different shaped uh, clusters also can be handled by using db scan clustering the db scan cluster also can handle the noise very well so here these data points are uh, uh, nice data points so here it can be handled by db scan very well than other clustering approaches the db scan does not need any prior information uh, to know the number of clusters so it can uh, randomly uh, cluster the given large data set into n number of clusters we need not to give the initial uh, the n value at the initial stage of the clustering db scan needs two parameters one is epsilon value and another one is the minimum data points here the minimum data points are used to uh, classify the cluster you look at that the epsilon is if you take one data point suppose if that data point so from this uh, data point to border so this distance the distance is epsilon the distance is epsilon so it is used to find the radius of the hypersphere or circle which is created around every data point to analyze its density density in the sense to know its neighbors to know its neighbors the epsilon value is used the hypersphere is the set of data points at a constant distance from the given data point uh, uh, that is called center you look at this in this example this is the data point we have selected as a a center so from this this uh, epsilon distance so which is forming this uh, cluster circle so the data points which are available inside this circles are inside the single cluster so this is called cluster one so the whatever data points which is available inside the epsilon distance these uh, data points are called the clustered data points and one more thing here we should know the minimum number of data points to determine the number of uh, uh, data, number of data points that should be inside the plotted circle to perform the clustering approach here if, if you take the minimum number of data points equal to 5 you, your cluster should have minimum five data points inside the cluster with the center data point so here if you are uh, if you are uh, 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 circle is not having minimum number of points then you cannot cluster that uh, 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 area into single cluster so to cluster the 
uh, uh, given data set, we need a uh, minimum number of points for clustering process. Here, we are having different uh, data points. So this uh, data point is the core data point. Yeah, whichever data point which is selected as a center, so that will be uh, assumed as a core data point. So now, the epsilon distance is uh, provide the radius of the circle, which is around a data point. All other data points that are inside the circle are assumed as a neighborhood data points. You look at that. Here, this is the epsilon distance here, and this is also epsilon distance. So the uh, the data points which are available within the circle, which is called neighbors, and also otherwise, if two data points are uh, available within the within the uh, epsilon distance are equal to the epsilon distance so then that two data points are called neighbor data points for example these two data points are available within the epsilon distance so these two are called neighbors and if the epsilon value is extremely small then uh, most of the data points may not lie in the neighborhood distance. That means if your epsilon is uh, equal to 0 0.1, that means 0 0.1 unit of distance, then each data point will be assumed as a single cluster. So you will not have the neighbors. You cannot have the neighbors. To have the neighbors, the data point should be equal to or inside the or less than the epsilon distance. Otherwise, the data point is called outlier so this uh, uh, small value of epsilon leads to poor clustering as most of the data points fail to satisfy the minimum number of data points which are decided to create dense region cluster and in contrast if epsilon is extremely high value then most of the data points will remain in the same cluster suppose epsilon is 100 then all most of the data points most of the data points will be available inside the uh, single cluster so it is also lead to poor clustering where multiple clusters may end up with merging that means so these two clusters will merge and if you have any other cluster here that is also will be merged so all the clusters will be merged together to form a single cluster then uh, it is also not a better clustering approach so the high value is also lead to provide you the worst clustering approach so for that uh, to avoid the poor clustering we should choose epsilon value based upon the distance of the data set here we can use k distance graph to select the better epsilon value most mostly they will select a small small value not a smallest value small value for uh, better clustering purpose and the minimum number of data points are used to uh, clustering cluster the uh, data data points uh, that means number of data points to be inside uh, satisfy that criteria minimum number of data points for each cluster so here if minimum number of data points is 5 means then this cluster is having minimum number of data points 5 so 1 2 uh, 3 four five six seven uh, so this is the seven so seven data points are there but here it is not satisfying the uh, cluster minimum number of data points so here it is having only one two three four so it is not satisfying the uh, minimum number of data points so it cannot be considered as a cluster so for that we should take the reference uh, minimum number of data points should be always greater than d plus 1 d is the number of columns in the data point suppose if your data set is having a uh, number of samples and number of columns so this is the feature 1 feature 2 feature 3 so this is called uh, three dimensional data so here when you are selecting the minimum number of data points, you have to select um, 3D plus 1. That means four, 4 number of data points to be selected for each cluster. So the minimum number of data points, at least 3 will be giving you the better clustering. However, for large data set, large number of minimum data points to be selected for avoiding the 
uh, outliers providing num many outliers here uh, three types of data points available in each cluster of the uh, db scan here first one is core point so here the core point will be selected based upon the uh, number of minimum data points so look, look at this if you have if you select this is one of the core point so in this uh, epsilon distance if it is having minimum number of data points so here minimum number of data points are 3 if this any data point which is uh, selected that will have the epsilon distance in that inside the epsilon distance if it has the minimum number of data points then that particular data point is called core point likewise if you select another data point here suppose if you select another data point this one if it is having the circle like this right so which in the minimum distance epsilon i mean epsilon distance if it is has three data points that is also become as a uh, core point so like this here also you see it is having uh, three data points uh, and with this four so it is also core data point it is also having uh, three data points so this is also one of the cluster so based upon the uh, based upon the number of minimum data points criteria the core point is selected border points are uh, defined with at least one core data point so here the this data point which is along the border which is along the border so it is already having its core point so the da uh, data point it should be uh, close to the border and also it should have the core point with minimum distance i mean epsilon distance with epsilon distance then that kind of data point is called border data points border data points always less than the minimum number of data points available in the cluster and outlier is called the point which are neither as a uh, border point or nor core point that means the data the outlier this is the outlier you see this is not a border data point to any cluster and also not a core data point to any cluster so the data points which are not belonging to any cluster uh, as a border data point or core data point so these data points are called outliers or nice in the given data set so we are having three different data points in the given data set as per the dbscan procedure thanks for watching